chat, YouTube, it's time for some blue black Gorios. So the advantage of this blue black Gorios list over something like a traditional Esper Gorios is that you don't really have to play cards like Ephemerate if you're trying to reanimate the new card from Foundations Coma, which is a seven mana eight twelve. It says the spell can't be countered. Trample Ward Four. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, create four three threes. So if you create four three threes, the idea is like you Gorios it back. It gets haste. It's got eight power. Trample you connect. Your opponent has to take it, and then you make twelve power. Pass the turn, or you can consign a memory the trigger at the end step if you need to keep the coma around. But I think most of the time, just the one attack from the coma is gonna be good enough. But that's the theory behind this build of the blue black Gorios compared to something that's got a lot of clunkiness in the mana base, like the Esper one does. You also get the new card from Foundations, Kiora, the Rising Tide, which is a three mana three two. When it enters, you draw two cards and discard two cards. Threshold. Whenever it attacks, if there are seven or more cards in your graveyard, you may create a Scion of the Deep, a legendary eight eight blue octopus creature token. Now you can also Gorios back Kiora and attack in a pinch. It's not the worst thing to do because it still will make the 8-8 token if there are uh, 7 or more other cards in the graveyard at the time of you casting the Gorio's Vengeance on the Kiora. So that's another pretty good target with Gorio's. It kind of reminds me of Jace Vrin's Prodigy and that just gets like incidental value because it's a good 3-drop and it's a good thing to Gorio's back as well. So I'm pretty excited to try these two new additions to the deck. For the one drops, we got four copies of Fatal Push and some removal. We got a couple copies of Thought Seize for some hand disruption. You can also Thought Seize yourself. Four copies of, or sorry, three copies of Consign of Memory to stop the Gorios trigger at the end step. Four copies of Falaji to help you mill stuff like the Ulamog and the Coma. Emperor of Bones with the Ulamog comes in as a 17 17 with Annihilator 10. So Emperor of Bones is very, very good with Ulamog. That's also just additional copies of Gorio's Vengeance, which is the namesake of the deck. Then we got four copies of Psychic Frog to help you discard your Coma, discard your Ulamog. Exile some stuff from your graveyard, grow the Ulamog as well. Four copies of Tainted Indulgence, draw through discard one. Three copies of Force Negation to help you go end step Gorio's plus Force Negation. Three Kioras for the filtering and the 8-8. And then the Ulamogs and the Comas is our top end. Mana base wise, we got one copy of Cephalic Coliseum for the Threshold. A couple Islands, a couple Swamps. Three Undercity Sewers, three Water Graves, and a bunch of Fetches. Sideboard, we got one Search for Escanto, which is a tech that I saw in the Esper Gorios list that helps you kind of grind out some of the blue-black matchups, which I'm a pretty big fan of Escanto in general, so I wanted to leave it in there. A couple copies of Mystical Dispute for the blue-black matchup as well. Three copies of Harbinger of the Seas. Since you are a two-colored deck, you can afford to go Swamp, Swamp, Harbinger of the Seas, and still cast pretty much all your spells. You only really need one Swamp, in fact. So Harbinger of the Seas is doing its best Blood Moon impression in this deck. One copy of Shoot the Sheriff to have an unconditional removal spell in Mono Black. One Toxic Deluge to Meat Hook Massacre for the Boros matchup. A couple copies of Nile Spellbomb for the Graveyard Hate. Two copies of Thought Seas for complementing the two in the, the main deck. And then one additional Force Negation in the sideboard. Let's try it. I'm going to keep this hand. It's a fine hand. I will not be going to SCG Columbus. I gotta rest up. I will be at Eternal Weekend though. Crab? I can't believe Eddie's playing Mill right now. Amazed to give the Prime as well. Yeah, they fixed the, uh, like if you hover over cards, they don't zoom in anymore. And the cards aren't giant either. I don't know how good our mill matchup is. No, I bricked. I had mill a cure, though. Paper Legacy is a lot of fun. One, two, three, Fractured Sanity. We jam frog. I probably need to flage you for Gorios after that. Even at the risk getting trapped. 
another one. All right, we got two Gorios down, two Gorios left. And sign. I have no more fetchable lands. That sucks. Well, without these. I got the trap and drown walk. Oh, I gotta take trap. I think I'm just discarding my hand. Hello? Let me yield to the ability. Bone zone. So if they trapped in response to me thoughts using them, I would have died. But I had two cards left. Gonna be tough to win this game. The toughest game to ever win. So I don't have Drown Lock and I have one other card. It's a glimpse, okay. I'm down to four cards. So I'm dead to Cephaly Coliseum. If I actually had a land to get, then I would be able to kill them. However, even if I take something out of their graveyard, is Cephaly Coliseum still going to kill me? Let's see if they see the line of Cephaly Coliseum me. That's an activated ability, not a triggered ability. Could have eaten the yard to save the frog. Yeah, I don't know if that's worth it though. Target's me, we died. Yeah, I was trying to avoid fetching altogether because of trap, but I don't know. He doomed new. We're gonna board up in this matchup though. <clears throat> I board out a couple of Worst cards like Fatal Push. I think overall we're going up in our card count. Up to 65. So if we eat the entire graveyard with Frog and make it live, we even win that game? I don't think so. Consigns for our own stuff, mostly. What's up, Jeremy? Thank you for the 31 months. So we can consign our own Gorio's trigger. Not good. That's a lot of comas. I guess I could pitch one of them to force negation. Keep his hand, put back a coma. Maybe I should just fetch now. Grab water grave pass. Crab? No. No crab. I only found our Ulamog as well. That's not good. It milled Emperor Bones, Emperor Bones, Undercity Sewer. So we can force negation something. I'd prefer to not have to force negation so soon. But if I have to, I guess I will. We got that 20 turn clock though with the Phalagi. These draws were reversed. We drew Emperor Bones instead of Ulmog. Would have been sweet. So I'm going to get to make a play on Coma Chameleon. Red, blue, and green. Red, blue, and green. Coma come easy, coma come like my dream. Yep. Right 
fractured sanity time? I might just let that happen. If they mill me into something large, like a coma. Hit me into a Cura. Do I want a Cura? Eh. I gotta wait a little bit. Rog. Alright, let's discard Ulamog. I discard Coma as well. I don't have Force Negation anymore. Let's just discard the Frog. Streamers are doing a lot of winning today. Streamers are trying out the Foundation cards, and well, they were certainly made for standard. I was thinking about activating Frog to exile something. I don't know if three is good enough. I'm just hoping that they hit another coma for me. If I can find the bone zone, then Ulamog will be really good. Do they field me now? Does not field me. Plays in a borrow. I wonder what they're holding up. I'll leave that on top. Ah, this is like so awkward. That I can't mill a coma. I don't know, would it have, been, would it have an Annihilator 3 Ulmog done anything? It's tough to say. Could have killed these. Picks it back up. Plays it again. There's a coma. I guess we go for the end step Gorio's coma. That's true, it could have forced interaction. Didn't think about that. Could still go for the Ulamog, but I mean, they just let it go. They just don't do anything about it, right? Crypt Incursion. All right, Coma. Heal them. Heal them. It's got trample, so trample over makes tokens goes away. Yo, these Coma coil tokens are sweet. Fields me. Pushes a coma coil. That didn't feel a lot worse than Atroxa to me. In this particular batch of Atroxa, it would probably be worse because it's taking cards out of my deck. Instead of just killing them. Push again. Oh, there's still a lot of two-turn clock. And also, it doesn't really rely on me hitting an ephemerate, right? Heals another. Plays a J's. Bone zone. 
to what do I owe the honor, Bone Zone? All right. That did the job. I think we're still happy with like 65 here. Yeah, it being a four mana Gorios is really sweet. That also like works really well with Ulamog. I had to think about the 13 months. Appreciate it. This game three might be a little tough. So if they're gonna have Crypt Incursion plus Surgical, we're in for a wild ride. Ideal Grange and Bone Zone. It's gonna be black white. I don't know. I'd play a lot of Gaza Shrines, that's for sure. But it means like two mana to adapt the bone, and it's like one mana to go fetch out the Grange. This hand's not amazing. I'll try it though. I think the problem with the Grange is that you can't do it any faster than turn four, right? Because you need three other planes already. If it's turn four, that's already the time where you can have. Bowens plus activate. That's the problem I see with that. Then the question becomes is it also better than Cephalic Coliseum? You want to eat food, on the other hand, you'll feel good. You should probably eat. Eat to survive. Ensnaring bridge, extirpate, fatal push. Archive trap. I'm just taking the extirpate. Yeah, I was thinking about flare as well. So if you have Falaji, you could play Thunder Trap and Flare, and just be on like that little package. Coma's also blue green. I'm going to fetch a Water Grave and shock it in. Let's see if they want a trap. It's not a trap. I don't think I want a Tainted Indulgence. Yeah, Thunder Trap's mediocre. Much like our hand currently. I will dispute that. Untap. There's that search for Escanta. Scrap Tainted Indulgence. I already have a Force of Negation in my hand. This matchup's really awkward. Crab. Start with the Tainted Indulgence. Discard the Ulamog. Thought sees them. Take the trap. I guess fetch while they don't have the trap. Oh, Moto's taking a small break. Fetch while they don't have the trap anymore. I'm at eight. Eight whole life points. Trap go. Trap 31, thank you for the prime of the 18 months. Good evening. These fatal pushes are pretty good now. Pretty, pretty good.
through a coma. Um, I guess I gotta get the fatal push out of their hand. Bye bye, bones. I think Wild Nicotle and Domain Zoom. Uh, I think it's fine ish. I don't think it's as bad as Brawler. Like, Brawler seems unplayable right now because it's a 5 3 in a Flage world. I don't hate. Or I don't hate uh Nicotle though. I think Nicotle's fine. I do hate Brawler. I don't think you should be playing Brawler. I think Kyor is gonna stack up against the Oculus and the Mirror Tempo shells. Soul Guide Lantern. I don't, I don't counter the Soul Guide Lantern. I got two cards in hand to my coma. Fractured Sanity. Didn't seem like they milled a lot of Gorios or Emperor Bones. They hit one. Um, I don't know how Cure is going to do in Blue Black Merc Ted. I haven't gotten to test her yet, but she seems strong in theory. I think she's very weak against opposing Bone Masters, though, which is real bad. Like, if your opponent has a Bone Master out, you just can't play her at all. That's not ideal. I'm feeling okay, VG. My hearing is like at a 60-70% right now. Out of 100, but... Other than that, I feel pretty okay. Most of the chest congestion's gone by now. My congestion's like nose, ear area at the moment. My seeing? 2020. Actually, I don't even know if that's true. I haven't been to an eye doctor in a long time. Gorio's the coma. Real type ladder. Very helpful. Surgilane the Gorios. So I got an Emperor Bones to win. I got two of those. Oh, I got this frog, I guess, can win too. Alright, frog, you and me. We'll go in the distance. As it stands right now, I want to discard my entire hand of this frog. It's going to take like three turns to move this frog. This Mikikoro is going to kill me. Inevitably. Okay, one more Emperor Bones because I lost the rest. One, two, three. Discard my hand. I gotta find like removal or counter magic here. There's a beast counter magic. And an island. Yield will do it. Hands okay. I don't want to thought these myself ever. Maybe they have any basics left. I don't want to thought these myself. Just try to do the coma thing. What's up, Eddie? I'm so disappointed that you're playing Mill. Oh, so disappointed. Losing streak with the goblins. It's all right, you got Mog Mob now, and Soul Cauldron or whatever. Or do you hate Marvu Kalia? I'll try it eventually. But now we got Kiora, and Kiora is a much sweeter card in Gorios than Kalia ever will be. That doesn't make you a bad person, Don. It does make you a few other things, but 
not necessarily a bad person. I don't even know if I thought it was gonna show up. Yo, Shoop, thank you for the 28 months. I appreciate the support. Alright, well, four more minutes, or one more minute, our opponent times out here. Don't do it, opponent. You got so much magic to play. You don't need to tilt. I promise. Yeah, it is a turn two coma. That's all I'm trying to do with this hand. Thought sees myself and then put a coma into play. I'll see if my opponent lets me, though. All right, they're back. And they're mulliganing to five. I don't know if I've ever spliced the Gorios before. Was the average amount of fear somebody should have when they thought sees themselves on turn one? I have a lot of fear because I'm showing my opponent my hand and just being like, all right, this is what I'm doing. I'm putting a coma into play on turn two. And that's that. This is really just a testament of is turn one coma good enough? Or turn two coma good enough? Because if it is, that's a pretty strong argument for coma. If it's not, that's a pretty bad and weak argument for Coma. So we'll see. Ragaban. Double Bobble. Coma's an 8-12. But it makes 12 power after that in the form of 3 threes. Stone Forge went very poorly. We went 0-4 across two leagues. We also played against nothing but the One Ring. And I don't think that deck was built to beat the One Ring. Yeah, we, we do have three consigns on the main board. I updated the list on Magic Online, but I didn't update the link for the list. But there's some number of consigns in the main deck. I'm playing one copy of Merc Tide currently. Here's the coma. All right, Coma was good enough. So my opponent played Bobbles, Ragavan, Huey. Thank you for the 19. What else did they play? Mox Amber and then died. Den of the Bugbear seems really weird in Breach, though. So I'm not sure it's Breach. I'm also not sure what this is in general. Maybe want Harbingers. Yeah, you can make it a dragon with Leyline of Transformation. Yeah, I should have waited longer to coma so that way I knew what they were playing before they scooped. I don't know if they're a Saga deck or if they're like a, a combo deck. Kind of unclear. Well, maybe we'll pick up our first match win today. After, what's it been? Two and a half hours since I started streaming. The timer's only says an hour and a half right now because I had to restart the stream. But I haven't dropped any frames since I restarted the stream. I've used a whopping 43 seconds off of my clock, and our opponent has used about eight minutes now. This is one of the disadvantages of chess clocks is that this game of magic is not going to be done in a timely fashion due to our opponent's time management being very poor. I hope they're doing something productive, at least. Like watching YouTube. Yeah, they paid for their entire league. They're going to use their entire league. Yeah, I wouldn't hate a rope system. Leyline Axe. Stone.
What sucks about the rope system was when you were trying to like combo off and you just be getting roped. That was what I hated about the rope system. Build new log. Gingerbread. The bone zone. Ooh, the bone zone's really good here. Kind of. Because they have that stone. I'm going to fetch another swamp, but I think I'm just going to cast Kiora. Draw to discard, probably indulgence under city sewers. So we draw something worse than that. Let's do an Ulapog. Yeah, Stone of a Wreck is not a great card. It was pretty good in the scam days because, you know, it stops not dead after all. Nowadays, I think Stone of a Wreck is probably the weakest of the one-mana graveyard hate spells. Much prefer like a Ghost Vacuum or a Nile Spell Bomb in this spot. Or a Soul Guide Lantern. Ghost Vacuum is just so powerful. I think it would be my choice every single time. Ghost Vacuum, Ease a House, or Relic. Maybe not that one. I think I'd probably play, still play Stone over Relic. I'm a big Relic hater, though. All right, there's Soul Guide Lantern. Yeah, Vacuum being like a half mini hearse is so great. I took my Flooded Strand. Boots. It's like a Metalwork Colossus list. Double Strike Trample. Um, I just play the bones and pass. Blocking bones. That right, analysis is scary. I can get coma, attack with coma, and the rest of the squad, they can't really block the coma. They're going to take eight. Or block here, but it's attacking me for a lot on the way back. Twelve. Sheesh. Hey, didn't Jimmy? Yeah, I think we have to surveil an Ulamog. We were, at least we got to try. It's not gonna go great. Bush. I don't know if I'm surviving. 714. Got 12 power to block with. I can also just attack with the coma here. I think I'm still dead though. Because I can just go equip cookie attack, anyways. Equip this to cookie, cookie unblockable. Heal me. Sad. Okay, so there are mono red artifacts. Leyline axe deck. I guess I do want this consigned to memory after all. Shoot the sheriff seems okay. 
I think that's probably it. Yeah, it kind of seems like an M. Hayashi pile, right? A wild list. We draw a fetch and harbinger. This hand's great. I'm going to start some ley line axe. I'll shock this in in case they have fervent champion. All right, I got a lot of artifacts and a Memnite. What is this Memnite? Why is the art like that? <laughs> what happened to you, Memnite? You're so zoomed in. Am I going to Fatal Push a Memnite? I guess I am. Yeah, I got to block the Hasty Coma. He's true. Why are you so zoomed in, Memnite? Is this like a self-portrait, Memnite? Oh no, another one. We're cooked. Memnite selfie. Felt cute, might delete later. Push the rags there. Don't hate on Memnite. I'm not hating on Memnite. Not hating on Memnite that much, anyways. It's just a little guy. Just kidding, I'm a big Memnite hater. And attacks their bridge. Alright, they scooped. Scoop. We won a match, chat. We did it. Nearly three hours into the stream, we did it. Travis, thank you for the raid. Hope you had a wonderful stream. Oculus, Bowmaster, Spell Snare, Spell Snare, Bitter Triumph. I think we're in for a bad time chat. I think we're in for a bad time. Your might be pretty good though. There's one on top. I'm gonna surveil first. All right, let's force pitch. Consign the memory, I guess. Grab an island and then. Jam Kiora. They'd rather keep my two drops. End step sculpting. Or whether or not it falls under slow play. Oh, I guess you're going to Charlotte then. He's probably going to get spell snared. Oh, it's Scour. Nope, that one was fine.
So they're still sitting on double spell snare. And eyeball. I want to play the fetch so I can have revolt for the fatal push on eyeball. But I'm not really trying to tap out for a while here, so we're just going to play a controller game. To the best of our abilities. They've been the Harbinger. It's a good choice. Plays a frog. That's an aggro counter spell. They have two spell snares in hand. Might be able to make something happen now. Kiora. I want to try to find a higher priority target than Kiora. I guess I can always Goryo's back Kiora at the very worst. All right, I guess that's what we're doing. I'm gonna make an eight eight. Swamp Thoughtseize. Swamp Thoughtseize allows me to take the Oculus that's in their hands so they can't apply more pressure. Do they not have Oculus Nan? Alright, we're gonna take the Fatal Push then. I swore they had Oculus in hand. I don't know what happened. Oh, I guess they discarded it to Bitter Triumph. That's what happened. They discarded to bitter triumph instead of paying the three life. I've never seen the scion of the deep. Eight eight. You can Gorio's legendary rats as well. I didn't know that, Tony. That's crazy. I have to keep that in mind. Seek it a stupor off the top. Sink into sadness. They discard a double spell snare. Okay, let's get another key over here. I'm gonna adapt the Emperor Bones. Put the key into play, draw two, discard two, attack, make an 8-8. The homie's back. You can't kill this octopus. I don't know, Chad. Kiora's pretty sweet for when you, like, can't find your actual targets. Kiora's a pretty good mini target. I think Cure is pretty decent so far. I would want to guess the blue-black matchup. Probably Force, Mystical Dispute, Search for Ascanta, nah, I don't really like Nile Spellbomb that much, but they are the Unearth build, so I guess I'll take the Nile Spellbombs as well. <coughs> Force and Negation could probably come out, excuse me. I really wish I was not sick, Chet. That'd be cool. Be swell. I just brought in force negation. I took out force negation. Um. All right, whatever. Yeah, consign is pretty mid. I guess I could probably cut consign. My opponent said my sideboard and lists aren't showing. Yeah, that's a bug. That's happening now. Unfortunately, yeah, Kiora plus Koma, the two serpents of the sea, and Mulligan to three. DG, thank you for the follow.
song's ringtone. Rinstar. Rinstar's a fire song, though, to be fair. I don't have my earbuds in because I have an ear infection currently, so I'm not allowed to shove things in my ears, the doctors told me. Don't you have speakers? Yo, Disgruntled Elk. Travis, thank you for the prime in the eight months. Mucho apreciado, my friend. Thank you. I hear Kiora deck my dive bow master here. Crushing it? Mm. That's a term that I would not use to describe myself, but thank you. Frog. My frog. Take two. Another frog. Oh, a coma. Oh, a Gorios. Recycling on Earth. Yeah, you can't persist cure a coma because it says non legendary. That's a big murky tide. Any power of coma. I'm gonna play Frog and try to block this Merc Tide if they attack with a Merc Tide. One, two, three. Block. By the power of Kikona. Frog. Dead in the air, which means do this first. Oh, you know what? I think I need the Emperor Bones. Target the frog. I need the Emperor Bones first. There are two. And messed up. I need the bones. Target my frog. There's Kiora. It's going to murder me. By Gorio's back, Kiora. What can I find? Shoot the sheriff. All right, I think I could have won this game if I played a little bit tighter. I need to bones my frog past the turn and then adapt and put the frog into play and then fly the frog and block the Merc Tide. That was my out. Um, I think Coma's pretty good. I don't think Consignment Memory's that good, though. I think they shoot the Sheriff. I don't take an additional Thoughtseize. I got the play. I definitely want thought seizes. On draw, probably not. I could have played that way better though. I missed up. The... 
Throw me spell snare. Shows me the spell snare. Can't really cast this cure into the bowmasters either. Harbinger of the Seas, Harbinger of the Seas, Sinking a Stupor, Odd Scour, Consider Bitter Triumph. Let's take the Bitter Triumph. Her hand's not very good, though. I think I'm just gonna crack this Nile Spell Bomb now before I get Merc Tided. Play around the Harbinger by accident. We'll take it though. Discard Oculus. Yeah, thank you. Rithered, I appreciate the Prime in the three months. Uh... Push the Frog, play the Kiora. We have Harbinger, Harbinger, Unknown in hand, probably on Earth. Um, let's keep the Fatal Push in hand. Yep. Let's go, thank you for the Prime as well. <laughs> you and I are not the same. So once they trade Kiora, or they block Kiora, I can just like push. Not have an 8 8. Here's my 8 8. It's like a Merc Tide of my own. Yours, Octopo, Octopi, save me. I floated the Harbinger Man and it didn't do anything. The manifest was a fatal push. I don't think they want to play the Harbinger because it's going to cut them off of Black Mana, and Black Mana is like their best answer to. Octopi. Noma. I'm trying to save this fetch land in hand in case I want to reanimate the Kiora. Harbinger, yes. Thanks for the Bowmaster. I was gonna use it for discard fodder. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Rog. Discard coma. Gloria was the coma. Force negation. Not cool. I was gonna do nefarious things with that coma. And I mean nefarious things. Bins a psychic frog. Thought scour. If I find a merc tide, I'm kind of in trouble. On Earth, Oculus. 
That's also a problem. Oh look, another coma. I choose you, coma. Yeah, we're off of Atroxa. I don't know if it's correct to be off of Atroxa. But I have no blink effects in this list. A lot of people don't realize that Coma has Trample. Yeah, it's Water Rhinos. It's a very good way of describing it. <laughs> Flips another Oculus. It's cool. All right, cool. I'll keep this. He's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna stay on Moto and see how, see how we're liking it, see how the vibes are. Why is the hand so big? Is that better. Energy is the matchup where I'm afraid that this one coma hit's not gonna be good enough. My overlays crop differently. So this is what it's supposed to look like. But with all of my cropping that I do for recording purposes, this is what it looks like afterwards. Oh, it's Storm. In the coma. I don't think Storm's a very good match for us. I've been in Ulamog. So if I can find an Emperor of Bones plus a Black Source, we're, we're back in the game. We got good signs, actually. We're not going to draw them, but we have consigned somewhere. Let's go! Dadoops, thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. I'm probably dead. Uh, they found a cost reducer. I could have held a fatal push this turn. But I really just wanted to apply more pressure while they were kind of just looking for their piece. Maybe they lose 16 more flips. Yeah, I could have saved indulgence for their end step and just played frog. I was hoping that, like, maybe I can indulgence in the Gorios and kill them. Right, they won the flip. Look at the ult the rail. I'm gonna scoop. And we're gonna figure out how to beat Storm, which doesn't seem very easy. We got Thotsies, we got a Force Negation, a couple Nile Spell Bombs. That's really about it. So we can make it work. Yeah, they might have... I was kind of worried about Ruby Medallion more than Jace. Or, sorry, not Jace. Growl. I don't think Harbinger is that good against them because they can just fetch mountains. I generally don't think Harbinger is worth it against Storm. 
Like, yeah, it's nice for when they fetch their survey land or they're like a gemstone caverns. I think most of the time, Harbinger doesn't do enough. Because most of these storm decks are like one color splashing a second card in the sideboard. Or second color in the sideboard for like one or two cards. It's like red green for Veil of Summer, red white for Static Prison. I've seen blue red for Flame of Venor. So this hand it has a Force Negation and a Kiora. I'm gonna give it a shot. By no means is this hand amazing. I'm curious to see where this hand goes. I even saw a red black storm list that was playing Thoughtseize. And duress. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, they need the yard sometimes. Most of the time, in fact. Because their main way of killing you is through past in flames. Ow. Oh, okay. It's going to let me discard the Ulmog. If I can force Medallion here, I'm super happy. I don't think we're going to play out Ral. Oh, they are going to play out Ral. Second coma. Draw two, we'll discard land, coma. I haven't looked at Sandra at all, actually. See how dead we are here. So spell number one. Spell number two. I've heard great things about standard, but I haven't actually looked at the deck selection. There's past in flames, which I'm gonna force. A double ritual. Oh, I think this row is gonna flip an ult and kill me. Delicate Awakening, Ritual. Let's see what 10 spells they hit here. They also put their entire hand away. They got a Ritual, Ritual, Delicate Awakening, Manamorphose. Another rel. I have four chances at flipping this rel. And they hit. There's a wish. Bolt. We got pass in flames, glimpse, talent. Manamorphose. All right, I think it's time to scoop chat. <laughs> I think we are beyond dead. All right, prediction time. Is hand good? I think it's fine. Gigantha, which probably means energy. If it's storm again, I'm gonna be really sad. Forest go. Forest Gigantha. What does that mean? Seed of Hope. Sorin Morph on the Boundless. Holy shit. Very well. I didn't have that in my bingo sheet. We'll say Drew. Big stay at the 15 months. From bees. I think I'm just going to push this thing. Yeah, sorry, my dingo sheet. Uh, 
Aug. Let's just fetch an island and play for Aug. Oh, they didn't jam the Sorin. Did they even pick up the Sorin? Is this a May? Oh, I think they just said no. Well, I imagine they wanted to pick up the Sorin. And didn't. They made an oopsie. It's kind of their one two combo is to go Soren minus, but Morphin in the play. Mighty Morphon Power Ranger. Vin's a Sliver Legion. Yes, of course. No. No, you may not play a Soren. I don't think I want to push either. I'm just trying to memory. I'll start by attacking with both. It's not sneeze times two. They had more fun. Alright, we'll pass. Should I consign this Surveillance chat? No, I'm just kidding. Unless? No, 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 no. Unless? Bin a Cloud Shredder Sliver and then concede. Alright, let's grab another Force Negation and probably some number of Harbingers. And then out the Fatal Push. In the thought sees. Uh, I just leave A can sign in. I don't really know how to board against Soren, Morphon, the Boundless combo. I don't think I've ever played against it. Maybe once or twice. But it's been ages. I don't know how this deck wins anymore. I still just like minus, put more fawn in the play, and then cast a bunch of random slivers. Probably. Ah, uh, it's close. It's very close. We'll try it. We'll keep a one lander. I'm gonna try to surveil here. They're surveilling. I'm gonna be surveilling. In that one land, thought sees okay. Oh, thought sees you try not to get Vela summered. Get Vela summered. I think we're going to game three. <laughs> Maybe they don't have Soren. Not sure how many Vela summers they're playing, but it's probably four. Cash crib. You put a permanent card from among the ones built way in your hand if you control squirrel. Okay, sure. I guess their entire objective is just to like mill over the combo pieces and put it back to their hand. Pain. They got sliver, 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 sliver. Card that does something. Land. I wonder if we're gonna beat this deck with one land. Alright, perfect. Now we discarded the Ulmog.
It's all coming together. The one land relapse, I see. I gotta partake every once in a while. Bone zone. Exile Ulamog. This will one shot them if I get to untap with this bone zone. Which, as it stands, it seems like it's pretty likely I'm gonna be able to untap with the bone zone because their hand is like seven slivers. And a Gigantha. Okay. Do you have Morphon? Oh, they hit the Morphon! Alright, they're gonna kill me. This is gonna be a spectacle for the ages, though. Yeah, when I thought sees them, they didn't have either Soren nor Morphon. Pretty good. All them Cascading Slivers. This is like Splinter Twin, but with so many extra steps. Ill Summer. Yeah. That's what I get for keeping a one-lander. I get to watch the Sliver deck go off. Okay, um, yeah, I don't know, it's probably fine, just gotta keep a reasonably functional, reasonably functional hand, which that last one was not, not anywhere close. Alright, right, all right, all right. Yeah, there's a few cool cards from Modern Loquacious, there's Kiora, which is a pretty strong one. There's a one land hand I'm gonna mulligan. Uh, Koma's interesting. I'm not sure if it's super powerful. Kellen looks cool. I wanna play like a blue red fairies deck at some point with Kellen. Now it's last season, them. Take the Soren. They have a Soren. They have a cash grab and more fun. Um, take the more fun. Take the cash grab might have been better. I am unsure. I'm gonna try to tainted indulgence into. Force negation, I guess. Discard the Ulamog and then Emperor Bones. Some sort of free interaction would be nice. Maybe a thought sees I wouldn't hate. Hit Rumble, they have Culling Rituals. Take the Oath of Nyssa. All right, discard the Ulamog. Draw on Ulamog. We're just gonna play the Bone Zone since we didn't hit lands. And eat the Ulamog and then try to high roll. Hopefully they don't kill us. High rolling, survive in a turn. Them not having interaction for the Emperor Bones. Oath of Nisa. Morphon. Cash Grab. Soren. Plays Lush Portico and then dies. I guess they have chosen death. Alright, we got there. 
We beat the Sliver Morphon deck, I guess. What's up, Connor? We got a 3 2. 3 2 acquired. Well, I think this deck was pretty sweet. I'm not sure if Coma by itself is good enough. I think. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I would even change out of this. Maybe you want to be trying the Thundertrap Trainers plus the Flares. Problem is that if you add Thundertrap Trainer, then Falaji becomes even more inconsistent. Maybe you could just play Flare. I don't know. I don't know which direction to take this deck. I think it's fine, though. I, I thought Cure was pretty good as well. But let's move on to our last deck of tonight. Which is the sweetest one in my opinion. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>